Everyone, it's Ross. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about rooting cuttings outdoors. And we're talking about most cuttings. I mean, you can really easily root a lot of things you probably wouldn't think. And here we are kind of buying more plants. We should just be propagating our own. Uh, we certainly have fig cuttings that we've done in the past. And you can see a lot of them that essentially are just stuck here in the soil. It's really all it is. Um, we've taken our a lot of the top growth off of the newly planted trees And instead of getting rid of that top growth, we're planting it sort of right next to it We know what variety it is Because the growth is so thick. It's strong. It's a bit older It's not going to desiccate very quickly. And in fact, you can see it's already leafing out here uh, The more of it we bury underground the more chances of roots Because of most cuttings here of fruiting plants they will form roots at every node. If I bring you guys over here, um, my buddy Lance had sent me some turmeric and ginger. He also sent me, I think these are jostaberry. And I said, you know what, I've got jostaberry, but it can't hurt to have another one. So I just stuck the cuttings here in the ground and look, they're already leafing out. This one's already trying to fruit see that back there um, so that means these guys really are easily propagated and what I'm trying to do actually with a lot of my gooseberries once I figure out which gooseberry is the better one whichever I figure out which of the honey berries I really like we're gonna be doing the same thing as really propagating the Josta berries the honey berries and the gooseberries I think they're all really valuable crops so you can see that there there's an actual mother gooseberry or mother Josaberry there and if I wanted to take cuttings from that next year I certainly could I want to bring you guys over to the mulberry because we did end up selling some Illinois everbearing mulberry cuttings because we are chopping our Illinois everbearing all the way down to the base and grafting onto it a variety called Girardi which is much more manageable here on my property it's a dwarf mulberry and you can see what we did with a lot of the cuttings because I sold them of a larger size to you guys. Maybe some of you had picked them up. I told you that you would probably be able to root them. And that's exactly what's been able to happen here is I had stuck these in the ground in the fall. In fact, we had a lot more of them here, but I, I ripped them out of the ground sort of recently. But I just said, you know what? Let's see what happens. We'll stick them in the ground in the fall. I know nothing's gonna happen over the winter time. They're probably not gonna root. They're probably not gonna leaf out. But now that it's spring, I bet you they have some roots on them. And look, they're already pushing out growth all the way around the tree. They're all doing a similar thing, all leafing out here, leafing out as well, and on that cutting there. So if you guys really wanna propagate things, I don't think it's really as difficult as people make you kinda want, or want you to believe. Um, yeah, certainly things are gonna be a lot more difficult than others, depending on what it is, but there's Illinois Everbearing, definitely some, some Josta Berry. And I would say even if you really wanted to, it may take an entire year, but you could propagate some of your stone fruits, you could propagate maybe even your pears this way. You know, it's gonna take a much longer time, but certainly go for it. And there's a lot of things you could do this with that are much easier. You know, raspberries and blackberries, as an example, are an absolute joke. As soon as they touch the ground, they put out roots. So, you know, it's really up to you, and I kind of wanted to show you guys three things here that I'm propagating. I had some persimmon cuttings in the ground, and I took those out recently. But I wonder how those would have done as well. So, that is the video here, guys short and sweet hopefully you guys got something out of this maybe a bit inspired if you enjoyed this one follow me on facebook instagram and twitter check out the website rossratty.wixsite.com slash blog also check out the podcast that we've been doing for like 26 or 27 episodes now depending on when you're watching we've been basically putting out a podcast every week for a long time and i think pretty recently um it's going to be on iTunes, Stitcher. It's going to be all the, on the, all these different types of podcasting websites. So check out the the podcast if you like to have a you know a nice little podcast on your drive to work. 
you know, this is definitely something that uh, I think you guys are going to want to listen to. So, all right, everyone, take care again, and I'll see you for tomorrow's video. All right.